all right guys what's up it's your girl jada and i'm back today for another video i know it's been a long minute since i posted a video so i just said i'm gonna come on here and give y'all some new content um this past weekend was mlk mlk day and this upcoming month of february is black history month so i think throughout the month i will be doing uh black history related videos black cultural videos in honor of that and in honor of dr martin luther king jr's birthday and holidays so today i am here to talk to you guys about the black american heritage flag um did I... okay so um recently i discovered that there is a black American heritage flag uh, that was created in 1967 by a man named um, Melvin T. Charles and I think it's Melvin Charles and Gleason T. Jackson. Um, so yeah, that was created in 1967 and um, most people think that the African American flag is the, um, what do you call it? The um, the UNIA flag, I think it is, or the Marcus Garvey flag that was created um, in the early 1900s. Uh, you know, the regular black, red, and green flag with the three stripes or the American flag that's inverted into those colors. But no, that is a flag that is supposed to represent all black people in the African diaspora. Um, and that was created by Marcus Garvey, who is a a black man of Jamaican descent that came to America. So yeah, that's not the black American heritage flag. This actually, I will have to say that um, there's a lot of, there's been a lot of different uh, African American heritage flag. There's nothing like set in stone or, you know, something that says like, oh, this is the official one. But uh, as far as my research goes, this is the oldest one that I could find. Um, and there's actually a book on it called uh, The Rallying Point. It was written by the co-creator of the flag, Melvin Charles. And he just recently passed away in like uh, 2017, I want to say. I watched, a, I watched a video that he did with PBS about the flag. And so, excuse me, I was very intrigued about like, you know, the story of it and how it came to be. And I just thought like, yo, like, this is <laughs> not known by anybody in my community. Like nobody ever heard of this. So, you know, I had to get on here and say, I just said, I'm gonna make a video. Cause it's like, somebody needs to hear this. Even if it's like 50 people that hears this, somebody needs to know this history. And so what I did was I was able to find a website that <laughs> had the design or whatever. And I ordered, I ordered a flag and I ordered a custom one because honestly, like, no disrespect to the creators of the flag because you know i'm very grateful that they you know they took up took it upon themselves to you know create something like this to represent our people because like i said you know the the little bread the rbg flag or the marcus garvey flag or whatever that's not a representation of our specific ethnic group it kind of represents black people as a whole you know whether you're from the Caribbean or Africa, Latin America, whatever. So this particular flag that I have sitting right here today is supposed to represent African-Americans specifically and, you know, our heritage, our history and our culture. So, you know, I just feel like this is very important, especially in, you know, the times that we're living in. And also it just kind of annoys me how some black Americans, I'm going to say, Oh, because it's definitely all but there are some black americans who like and i'm not saying like like i said i said before in a previous video like you could be proud to be american i'm proud to be american but it's like the american flag was created <laughs> while our people was enslaved and we had no input in that flag so you know you can't compare loving the american flag to you know other enslaved black people like jamaicans or um Brazilians or whatever who love their flag because after they received their independence they were a uh, part of the process of creating those flags so you know it's it's okay for them to have that type of pride in those flags but for us it's a little bit different you know that flag you know 
you look at it and it's like, yo, is it, how could it represent us? You know, none of us were able to have any input in it. And like I said, it was created when we were enslaved in this country. So it's like, yeah, be proud to be American. And, you know, if you have an American flag, cool. You know, like I said, we are American indeed. And, you know, a lot of people have died for that flag that look like us. So I'm not knocking it, but all I'm saying is, when you're talking about our story and our specific history, I don't really rock with the American flag like that. So I took it upon myself to go ahead and make a custom made one because, um, you know, the original flag, I don't even know how to say this without sounding like ungrateful or kind of disrespectful to the people who created it. But, you know, I just felt like <laughs> it could use a it could use a pop. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's just me because I'm extra and I like a lot of color, but I just thought it could use a pop. So I went ahead and got a, a custom made one. And I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> I don't want to lift it up and it'll be upside down, but like. I think this is the right size so yeah this is what it looks like um I see it um this symbol i probably insert like what the original or original one from actually 1967 looks like this one i think was like this symbol specifically was like recreated in um in like the 80s or something like that and they just kept it like that but the original flag um this is supposed to be like fig leaves it's supposed to represent fig leaves to represent our african heritage and this sword is supposed to be a representation of um i think like a moorish sword or something like that um, and it's supposed to symbolize power, I believe, and, you know, uh, the black in the flag is supposed to represent, um, I think our, our pride in our skin color, and I think the red in the flag is supposed to represent the bloodshed, so, don't quote me on that, because I didn't write it down, but, um, I added these specific colors to this custom flag, because I felt like, um, every black ethnic group of people um whether it be you know like i said caribbean african whatever you know we all have a pattern of using yellow red green and black so you know i just thought it would be cool to continue on that tradition amongst black people and add a little pop to this flag you know some people like the original I'm not knocking the original. I would gladly hold it up because I do have I do have the original, but it's um it's too big for me to fit into this frame. So <laughs> I just wanted to kind of show y'all like you know whatever I wanted to show y'all like basically what it looked like. That's it. But um but yeah um I just thought that was like you know some amazing history to find out. You know um I think as Black Americans we need to do a better job of. You know having pride in this flag or you know actually you know um how can i put this like making it popular popularizing this flag and you know making it an actual symbol of who we are as a people rather than just you know taking an american flag and making it black and green <laughs> and saying oh that's our flag like no somebody our ancestor i guess we could call it created this flag back in 1967 during the civil rights movement. So I feel like this is something that we as, especially as younger black people, have a duty to um, carry this on into the next generation. So I kind of just want to share that information with you guys. You know, I don't know who out there will be interested in learning about it, but like I said, um, you know, I just thought it was something really cool with, to know about, you know, with Black History Month and everything coming up. So. You know, I guess I'll leave the link below to where I got that little flag or whatever in the comment section. I'll leave a link to, you know, the video of the creator of the flag talking about it on PBS. And also, I leave a link to the, to the, um, to the book he wrote or whatever. I haven't read it yet. I do plan on getting it, but, um, I just haven't got around to it. So, um, yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it, um. 
I didn't want this to be a long video at all because you know it don't <laughs> it don't require all that but um I think that's pretty much it um I just kind of want to get on here and like I said share that news with you guys I really want to know what you guys think like you know how can we how can we spread this news how can we share this information with our people and you know actually popularize it and make it a thing in our community you know it's important to keep stuff like this going that's just how I feel about it so you know if you agree if you disagree whatever your thoughts are just go ahead and leave a comment below and you know we can argue about it <laughs> like I've been arguing with some of y'all folks on my last video or you know just leave a like if you enjoyed this video and you know stay tuned I got some other stuff coming up um, I think I'm gonna be talking about my trip that I recently took to Louisiana to visit like my family's graves and stuff like that out there. So stay tuned for that. And I do think I have a shoe haul coming out very soon. I'm not gonna give y'all a time or a date because <laughs> I don't know when I'm gonna put it out or whatever, but you could be you could expect that to be coming real soon too. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Um don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys on the next video.